daycare here obviously and laying out the I'm gonna actually draw things out this is gonna be a rough sketch of the building or this half of the building and I'm gonna do a little load calculation so what I have to do is measure the walls get all the window measurements write down what they are write down the doors and stuff like that so I'm gonna draw this out on here and go room by room and then I can put them all together when I'm done got my two windows laid out 3050 See, 3050, that stands for 3 foot 0 inches by 5 foot 0 inches tall. Got our door over there. Do you know what swing it has? We'll go on to the next room. Actually, I'll probably go across here. Then sort of piece the building together as I go. Going up here, here's the hallway. Measurements on all those and whatever's not shown, you can infer by adding two numbers together. So this room is 20 foot wide. So if this is 14, then this is 6 right here in the hallway. We're standing in the L-shaped hallway right now. We have one room off, two, three, four. Come over here, we have one room off, two, three, four. Then you go through here to get to this room. So this is just a loose sketch. Now I'm gonna go look up into the attic, down at the end of the hall, and see how much room we have up there and what kind of duct system we need to run. Really old structure up here for a lot of it. The old roof line right here. You see where the vent comes up and goes through the new roof. The cutaway, more of the old roof right there. There's more attic space on the other side, so I think that's what that hole is. We see right here, someone spotted the hole. Hell, that's probably me spotting the hole at some point. But I'm gonna climb through there, see what we got. I can put the air handler, just build it off of this roof, keep it up high. But I gotta see where the duck's gonna go. Whether it'll be left hand or right hand discharge. Plenty of room for the air handler. Just gotta put a platform out in front of it. It's no big deal. My hole here. Looking back there. Plenty of room to get through here. Let's see. I don't know, this is kind of flexing too much for my life. Like a big fella. Yeah, plenty of room over here. Got a light over here. I'll be darned. Okay, the guy. There's an open electrical. That's always good. <laughs> I'm thinking, guys, this is my access hole. This is a hallway below us. There's a classroom over here, and the kitchen's over here, which you can't see. It's dark. I'm thinking I'll put in a return either here or here, because the unit I'll I'll bring up high, and you can work around the return. I'll put like a box with a tap on this end so you can get around to service the unit should be enough room because the box will be lower than the joist anyway so you want to step on the box to get across it then I can just put outlets in the room the one behind me I can run a duct through a hole there for the other side and I can probably cut a hole like the plumbing goes through to drop ducts in for the other one too so that's probably what I'll do it might be actually be a pretty good house for one of those Arizona style RTU units. It could just sit right on top of here. Shoot some ductwork down here, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't want to put one on this old ass roof anyway. In the kitchen it looks like a good outlet location. We have a relatively short wall work area here. So a nice one running laterally here. Victory. And one laterally over here. We keep this place pretty cool and spread out that airflow. So we can go ahead and draw them tentatively in here. This is an exact. I can come back and add. This is not going to be exact. I'm going to come back and add like particular CFM and sizes. But you know, we we have one here in this room as well. But that room is beyond this glass, so it'll be difficult getting the duct in there because these areas are separated. So we either come sidewall because that ceiling's a little higher or go up above the ceiling and come down but I'm not sure yet I'll we'll have to put one in here too either over here or over here there's a workstation right there too so I'll draw it in right here again we have a nursery so I'll probably put one in between these two lights like right on here and another one down here to make two because I just have plenty of throw to cover those areas 
to tentatively draw those in too. The supplies. Small storage room, just a through way. A washing station around the corner, so we'll probably tuck it away right here. Because we have a lot of stuff everywhere. And don't want to go too far out and get all pinched in. So we're probably right in that area right there. Here has a bath van here in the corner. So probably here. Either one, two, three, probably something like that. Or one in the middle, two, and three. But that's all boxed in right there. So either two large ones or one, two, three. I'm going to write in three right now. I might even put one back here in this section because that bathroom probably hardly ever runs. Go ahead and draw those in. We'll do one, two, three supplies. Classroom. Shaded on that side. So it probably gets a little bit less load than the other one. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. Probably three. Keep it simple. Don't make a ton of holes in the ceiling. We don't have to. Let's write that in. One, two, three. Let's see, we have a table of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, over twelve. The average CFM will be coming out of each one at 1600. Do a little division here. It's like 133. So, a little bit larger than an 8. 8 can usually do around 120 with a normal style velocity. 8 inch flex that is. 8 inch hard pipe could probably do 133 but we'll see. Some of them might be larger than 8's. Might have to add one in the bathroom. There is one in the bathroom now. So I mean, it is possible we could have one in the bathroom over here to alleviate some of that extra CFM we need. So if we want to add a 6 here we could be in this area and we could put another one in the hallway or something like that to make sure we have the proper amount because all these little ones are likely to be eights. Return here we have a smoke detector and a light so the return will probably have to come down to here so that'll put it up here toward the front of the building and then most likely we'll put two more returns. We have another smoke detector up here so somewhere out in the room perhaps we have another access here which is nice might even put the return over here centered right here get out of the way of the smoke detector give us a little bit of room and still tuck it out of the way same thing with the next class over we'll probably tuck one in there too this one will probably be a 16 by 25 and then these two will split up the equivalency of that